Yeah, obviously an uh, exciting time of year to, to get to the point where you're getting to play for real. And uh, not that Friday night against Simon Fraser wasn't real, but uh, it didn't mean as much as uh, Friday night's going to mean. So for us, it's, uh, it's, it's fun when that day finally arrives. I think the most important thing is feeling good about where your team's at. And we feel, we feel good about where we are as a team on the ice. Uh, I do feel that there's a lot of growth potential, which I, I think is a, is a positive thing. I think we're nowhere near where we can be, but I do think we're doing a lot of things we've concentrated on uh, in terms of our, our skill development and practicing from the get-go here that we're executing well. And it was very evident both in our green gold scrimmage and our exhibition game. So again, we're, we're excited uh, to start having the games count for, for all the marbles. Uh, your thoughts on how the preseason kind of went, whether it be with Simon Fraser, Brady Gold, and just overall what you've kind of liked from this team so far? Yeah, you know what, I think one of the things that we, we try to get accomplished in, uh, in our preseason was raising the level of our offensive execution. Uh, I think it was, we've been, uh, I guess the best way to say it is an offensively challenged team at times. Uh, it either it either it came naturally or it was very hard to come by, and usually it was the latter over the last couple of years. For us, we feel that we can we could improve there because we we've got more creative players. We've got some guys that uh, give us some more speed throughout our lineup, and, and as a result, we felt we can I guess come out on top in that in that part of the the game and, and improve our offense. So we've really concentrated on that We're, we've shot more pucks and probably uh, the guys you know have all year combined last year and I, and I think we've uh, broken more sticks than we've broken in the last year combined too especially with Trinkberger our six foot five German defenseman uh, but uh, I think it's all in an effort to when we get chances be ready to bury chances and I and I and I think more than anything I really like where we're heading in that direction I think the other real point of emphasis that's been for us, and we haven't worked on it as much because it's tough to do with the limited practice time that you're allowed uh, per NCAA rules, is our power play. Uh, I think instantly our power play has gotten a boost. Uh, you know, I, I think the players and the chemistry that we're seeing early, it's a lot of fun to watch those guys compete in the way they execute. So those two things are probably the biggest things that we've taken away from the preseason. Is it good to start off with a team like Minnesota coming in, think punch right away. Yeah, I think so. We've got a chip on our shoulder. We've got a lot of people that uh, are looking down on our program right now. And uh, for us, we uh, we don't like it. And we've got an opportunity to play against one of the the best programs in the country. You know, historically, and over the last uh, you know few years, especially they're the number one preseason favorite in uh, in the Big Ten Conference. Uh, they return a lot of really quality players. They they brought in some very impactful freshmen. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a challenge. Uh, we know nothing short of our best effort level and level of execution uh, isn't going to get the job done. So I, I think for us, it's it, what a great challenge for us to come out of the gates with that. And then obviously we move on to the Saturday night with uh, you know our rival to the north. And those games are always fun to play and be a part of, but uh, they're critical, right? It's easy to get up for those games, and I expect it to be no different with our guys come Saturday. Matt, tell us about the promotion on Friday. Yeah, we've got a uh, face-off against Kids Cancer. Uh, uh, again, uh, I, I got to, to dip into my uh, acting uh, career and do a, a great commercial uh, about it, but the um, in all seriousness, uh, we want to give back to the community. We want to do what we can for this community, and uh, this community is important to us, to our to our student athletes, to our department, and and specifically the hockey program. And uh, when we when we got together, we talked about ways that we can make a difference. And uh, for me, pediatric cancer research is, is important. I've been affected by it on a, on a lot of different levels, specifically in my own family. So anytime I get an opportunity to to do something. For, um, for kids that have to bat battle this disease, uh, we're going to do it. So uh, a great opportunity for people to come out and uh, do a bunch of different things to donate and, uh, and make a difference in, in kids' lives right here. The great thing is about it's all staying local, and, uh, and that's an important thing. That's something that we wanted to accomplish. I guess lastly, um, any particular individuals standing out to you in practice or maybe surprises that, hey, this guy made a total leap in uh, not only ability but work ethic and things like that, and he's 
examples come to mind? Yeah, you know, I, I think for, for, for us, there's a lot of expectation for certain players. Uh, I think maybe some of those players are, are taking the, uh, the, the brunt of those expectations. Uh, but when we look at our team, what we're looking for is players that have showed significant improvement and more importantly, are really buying into what we're trying to accomplish. And um, I don't think we have any r real weak links. Uh, I do think we've got some guys that are, are showing a lot of promise. I, I think the one thing that stands out to me right now that I think I'm most excited about is our one power play unit uh, that features the Renouf twins. Obviously, those guys had to wait a long time to play their first college hockey game. Uh, they, they showed a lot of chemistry with Jeremiah Ludke and Alexi Ayanali and, and Chase Van Allen. Uh, and I, that group just seems to be kind of thinking the same way. And right away, we've got that early chemistry. So that's an exciting thing. I, I think I'd be in trouble if I didn't say how good our goaltending is. Our goaltending has been phenomenal. One through three for us. It's, uh, uh, we've got a real strong goaltending group. Uh, and I think that's always a cornerstone to any team's success. So uh, those guys are guys that we're going to lean on heavily. Uh, but most importantly, it's, it's our upperclassmen. Uh, they need to be the ones that kind of grab the bull by the horns here and, and show everyone how it's done. Any idea if a decision was made to uh, replace Josh yet? Uh, we are we are getting to that point. Uh, we certainly have a uh, we have a plan in place. Uh, we just got to go through the necessary channels to finalize things. It's nice. Uh, obviously, this summer was longer than really we any of us wanted it to be. Um, with that being said, we have we had guys come up here early this year, which was really cool. Guys got to experience different parts of. Uh, I don't know, fishing, camping, stuff like that, which was cool. I think it brought our team team chemistry, like Matt said, together quicker. Because um, with everyone being here earlier, it gave us a chance to do not just stuff on the ice, but off the ice as well. And I think that uh, had everyone buy into the what we're trying to do and um, where we're trying to go. And your thoughts on what the team looked like so far this preseason? I like it. I like where we, I like where we stand. Um, our freshman class has been nothing, nothing but great. They've been pushing the pace, and that's what you want from a freshman class coming in. Um, you know, there's not really. It's a it's a great feeling to have when you have guys that are willing to push one another. Um, it might not always be the nicest way or the nicest thing to do possible, but it's also at the same time you want to hold each other accountable. And when we push each other that much farther, it's just making our team better. And right now, that's kind of where we're at, is we understand that we might not like each other at times, but at the same time, we're doing it for the right reason. And when you look at Minnesota, you know, your first opponent, have you guys started, I guess, looking at tape or anything, any kind of scenes they might have that you can kind of exploit? Um, we haven't really taken any uh, video. We're still working on stuff that we, we know that we need to be 100% good at 100% of the time. Um, whether it's D zone, line rushes, um, small details that we're working in, you know, day in and day out, we're, we're really just concerned about how we're going to perform right now. Um, we can't really look too far ahead and look too much about where, where they're going to do. We're going to make them play our game. That's our plan. Matt said chip on the shoulder. It's always good when teams do that. Given your summer, what's been going on, what's swirling, the fact that you missed the playoffs a couple of years now, how heavy is the chip on the shoulder for this group to let the rest of the country know that hockey is alive? It's uh, it's it's getting bigger. The chip, the chip's always there. Um, it has for me. It's been there for me since my freshman year, when uh, and so right now that's that's kind of where we're at. Is we have we have something to prove, and not only to the state but to you know college hockey as a whole, is that you know we're forced to be reckoned with, and that's how we want to approach every game. You guys haven't traveled yet as a group down at the 48, but yeah. you know, there's internet phone calls, you've got friends playing. It, it, have you been able to take the temperature of, of the opinion, if you will, of some of the, of the hockey community down there and, and how this group is looked at? Um, not, I guess I don't really know a whole lot of guys. I don't have a ton of friends that play in the lower 48 or anything like that. I mean, I have a few, and for the most part, from what I know, none of them are really uh, too in tune with exactly what's going on way up here. But at the same time, you know, we know where we stand and we know, you know, where we are the underdogs. We see where we were finished um, in the media poll. And, you know, it's all the better reason for us to have the chip on our shoulder and, you know, come ready to play.